Hello, my name's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and welcome to another video review. Today we're taking a look at the XFX 650 watt triple X edition modular power supply. What comes included in the box is the power supply itself. Uh, you also get a cable for the UK and European market as well as a United States adapter as well. You also get a power supply user guide which tells you all the various different wires and connections as well as installation, uh, troubleshooting and uh, power connector introduction so that could be quite handy and you also get this pouch with it as well which if we open this up on one side see that there's various different modular leads uh, all sorts of kinds including PCI Express, Serial ATA and so on and in this side even more including uh, Molexes and more PCI Express cables as well. So it's quite nice that it comes in this XFX branded pouch. Due to this power supply being a modular power supply it does come with a nice array of modular cables. A lot of the cables are hardwired because every uh, computer case and motherboard will require the main ones that are hardwired into the power supply but these ones are optional. So straight away we can see that end goes into the power supply itself and it comes off into some serial ATA connectors. On this one we can see once again that end goes into the power supply and it comes off into some Molex connectors. On this one, once again, that end goes into the power supply and we have another Molex, a floppy drive connector and another two Molexes. On this one we see that we have the end which goes into the power supply, um, which is this one. And then we also have the PCI Express connectors which are six pin or the extra two to clip onto the other side to make it into an eight pin connector. On this one same story once again this end will go into the power supply and this end as branded on it is your PCI Express with the clip on adapter to make it into an eight pin. And lastly on this one the end that goes into the power supply and some more serial ATA connectors. A lot of customers, consumers and so forth out there aren't actually fully aware that XFX make power supplies, but they do. Um, if you actually have a look on their website, they do about four different models, uh, including the triple X editions, which are these ones, which come in a 650 watt variant, and you can get it with the green fan or a grey fan. Personally, I prefer it with the green. It's something a little bit different, a little bit quirky. The grey one isn't uh, as aesthetically pleasing, but it is wise to actually make you aware that XFX do make power supplies. They do the 650 watt, 750 watt and 850 watt. And we will be looking at every single one of their power supplies uh, in the near future. Starting with this one which is the 650 watt XXX edition with the green fan. When looking at purchasing a power supply there are three main things that I look out for. The first one being the manufacturer. This is made by XFX and I've got to be honest with you I wasn't completely aware that they made power supplies but if their graphics cards are anything to go by this is going to be a fantastic power supply. XFX have always been uh, probably one of the top manufacturers in the UK for uh, graphics card manufacturing so hopefully their power supplies follow suit with the quality that they actually use in regards to the components used in this. The second thing I look out for is the wattage. This is a 650 watt power supply. There are power supplies out there that claim to be uh, a higher wattage but they're not. Basically, you will find the cheaper ones like Qtech, who I've used Qtech power supplies in the past and they have actually exploded, uh, which isn't a good thing. They rate them at sort of 750, 800 watt, but that isn't a continuous power stream. It is the peak wattage. This is a 650 watt, and with regards to this, it will power probably the most extreme gaming systems. It all depends on how many graphics cards you're using, but as uh, components like motherboards and processors are developing they are using less and less power so you don't need something with 1200 watts this should be ample but there are websites out there where you can actually plumb in all the details of what you've got in your system and it will tell you exactly how many wattage uh, on a power supply you, you will need. The third thing that I always look out for is a high efficiency rating and this is no different the XFX 650 watt triple X edition power supply comes with an 80 plus bronze efficiency rating the reason I always look for uh, a high efficiency rating is you know that firstly the power supply is going to last and secondly the power that it's going to give to the components in your system is going to be a clean stream of power. 
Taking a look around the power supply now, uh, we already spoke about the modular leads that come with this particular power supply, and I did state that a lot of the leads are hardwired. These are the main connectors that pretty much any computer, whether it's AMD based or Intel based, will need. This includes the ATX power supply adapter. You also get a PCI Express adapter included on there, a, another PCI Express adapter, and another one. You also get this twin 4 pin which obviously can connect together to form an 8 pin power connector for your motherboard. Or you do get the 8, 8 pin power connector anyway. And also another PCI Express power adapter which has 6 pins with the optional 2 pin which can clip on to make it into an 8 pin. If we move them out of the way we can straight away see that it is cable tied here using a special cable tie which comes with it so you can continue to use that but if we do move that set of cables out of the way we can see exactly where the modular cables plug in we already spoke about the various different connectors and it is quite easy to be tricked by them because they are 6 pin and 8 pin so you could confuse them with PCI Express uh, connectors but we can see that we have 6 6 pin modular power connectors and 2 8 pin we can also see on this side the XFX logo is embossed into the actual casing of the power supply Taking a look at the back of the power supply now, uh, this is a design that I've always liked on power supplies where they use this either honeycomb or sort of meshed grill. We can see that it uses it all across the back apart from where the XFX sticker on is, which uh, we can actually take this sort of, uh, protective film off of this. And we can see the XFX logo on there. We can also see that we have the power connector and the on off switch as well. Normally with power supplies they put all their effort into designing the way that sort of some sides of the power supply look nice and then they just leave the sides blank. XFX haven't. They've actually put this sort of design on the side of it which we can see where it joins on here and it tells us that it's the XFX Triple X edition with the logo on there and the slogan saying play hard. And on this side of the power supply is no different once again we get all the various different information that we need including telling us that it's the triple X edition 650 watt XFX power supply tells us the model number the AC input and the DC output also tells us the uh, caution various different stickers that we'd expect anyway and the part number and serial number which is always handy in case there are RMA issues hopefully being an XFX product you won't have any trouble with it and you won't need to ever quote the serial numbers off of there also tells us that it has the 80 plus bronze efficiency rating which we were speaking about earlier the only side on the power supply which hasn't got any design flair or anything like that is this side of it but you don't really need anything because if you can imagine this being inside your case the top of the case will be butt up against that anyway so the only thing that we can actually see on that side is a screw and as with most people saving the best till last this is probably the side of the power supply that I think looks the best purely because you can see the bright green fan in there we did speak about you can get this power supply in two different uh, variants with the green fan or the grey fan but personally I prefer the look of the green fan also in the middle once again we have a protective sticker which we can peel off to leave this embossed XFX logo on there as well I do love the whole sort of colour scheme of this because the actual power supply itself being made out of metal it's sort of like a gun metal grey colour and then with the green it really really stands out and if you can imagine having a case with a window on you are going to be able to see this at the bottom of the power supply as it sits in the top of your case and now take a listen to the silent 135 millimeter fan
Straight away from the results you can see that this does have some very stable rails. You can see also that the power supply has got a really nice design to it. I'm really keen on the green fan design. As said uh, earlier on in the review, you can get it with the grey fan, but I don't think it's got enough flair really, so I do prefer the one that we were looking at today. You know that it's from a reliable manufacturer, XFX, but deep down the power supply is actually made by Seasonic and branded as an XFX product. There's nothing wrong with that, it does mean that the product itself is fantastic because Seasonic makes some of the best power supplies on the market today. You can also see the packaging, XFX really wanted us to focus on that. When you look at the unboxing video, you can see how much detail and thought has been put into the actual packaging of this power supply. Value for money wise, we can see that it is fantastic. For a 650 watt power supply, you're looking at around 70 to 80 pounds for this particular one, which I think is really, really good value for money, considering all, all the thought and effort that's been put into the overall design, the performance, and even the packaging. Uh, right down to that, we can see overall that it is a fantastic product. The only sort of downside that I can see is XFX are new to the power supply market. But, because this is a branded Seasonic product, that doesn't really matter. So I can only give this 5 out of 5 stars.